In this section, a record number of six exercises are awaiting us. In the first exercise, our task is to swap two variables using destructuring. Remember the basic rules of destructuring. The text1 equals text2 and the text2 equals text1 assignments take place in parallel from the perspective of the whole expression. The expression on the right is evaluated and becomes me swap. This assignment happens before interpreting the expression on the left. Exercise 2. Complete the below function that calculates the nth Fibonacci number in the sequence with one destructuring assignment. According to the definition of Fibonacci numbers, Fib0 is 0, Fib1 is 1, and the nth element of the Fibonacci sequence is the sum of the previous two elements. It's a nice recursive definition, I know, but we'll solve the problem in an iterative way. The solution is almost complete, we just need one destructuring assignment to finish it. This assignment is nothing else but the one on screen. In these two assignments, the last element becomes the current element, and the current element becomes the next element. So far so good. Destructuring seems to be quite useful. Let's continue with determining the bindings that take place in this destructuring assignment. Given that loft is a typo, there is no corresponding right value to the value of loft. Therefore, the recursive destructuring assignment empty object equals undefined will be executed. As undefined cannot stand on the right of a destructuring assignment, an error will be thrown and no value bindings will take place. I know, this exercise was evil and tricky, but what else can you expect from me? I do everything I possibly can to make you think, train your attention to details, and raise your problem-solving skills. Let's make one more modification to the exercise so that we continue the training even further. Let's remove the value of loft and observe the bindings that will take place. Loft becomes undefined, and wall becomes 5. Exercise 4 is about retrieving a value inside a data structure using destructuring. Let's start constructing the expression. We need to create an object, access the capital A field, discard the zeroth and the first element of the array, and take the second. Let's call this element A underscore 2. As this is a new variable, we have to declare it using let. Eventually, we equate our new data structure to our variable x to form a destructuring assignment. Notice that we don't have to name the discarded values, just placing any number of commas in the code is fine. We could even add some commas after a2, it would not make any difference. We cannot index out of the array, as the elements that are not defined are equated to undefined. Note that a was not created as a variable in this expression. You cannot assign the name of a variable and destructure its contents at the same time. In exercise 5, we will use destructuring in function argument values. Check out the example config object and the function below it. Your task is to create the second argument such that the function can be called with an arbitrary second argument. If any of the four keys are missing, Substitute them with their default values. The default values are the same as in the example configuration object on screen. We will make the second function argument an object and will enumerate all four keys with their default values. Notice that we can combine the structuring with default argument values. This object is the left hand side of the destructuring assignment and the object in the function call is the right-hand side. If we call draw chart with an empty object, the default values are printed. If we provide some keys, their values are printed, and the rest of the values fall back to their defaults. Let's modify the previous exercise such that the user may omit the option parameter. 
I will first give you a solution without the structuring. We can rename the original draw chart function and wrap it in another function where we provide the default value for the second argument. The only reason why we made this function renaming is to illustrate a point that we need to use a default argument value. We don't have to introduce a second function to do this, so let's revert the solution. All we need to do is place the default value after the left hand side of the destructuring assignment. Notice that this new equation sign has nothing to do with destructuring, this is just a default argument value assignment. Let's test our solution by calling drawchart without the second argument. The solution is correct as the default values are printed to the console. We're done with exercise 6.